Hello, and thanks for visiting Jensen Pump Stations. My name is Josh Dragon. Today I'm going to be talking about the Clark County Detention Center and the pump station that Jensen Pump Stations installed there. If you would like to learn anything more about Jensen Pump Stations, you can visit our website at www.jensenengineeredsystems.com. You can also reach me directly by calling me at 775-352-6343 and my email is jdragon at jensenprecast.com. My additional points of contact can be found there on the slide and I'm active on social media and you can get a hold of me on all my social media pages by visiting my Google Plus page. The Clark County Detention Center pump station is located in Las Vegas, Nevada. Jensen Pump Stations delivered the product in November of 2012. The station discharge rate is 200 gallons per minute and the pumps are operating against a total dynamic head of 30 feet. Some of the challenges we faced with this job was the very small footprint of the construction site. That red star you see there in the, on the map there was the actual location of the pump station. The two buildings to the north and the south of the pump station are the actual Clark County Detention Center towers. And so there was about, and you'll see it in the pictures to come, but I would say about a 150 foot gap between those two buildings. So very confined working space, very difficult. We were replacing an existing pump station that had failed. The piping had failed due to corrosion from the wastewater and chemicals that were found in the wastewater. The wastewater water was a mix of sanitary sewage as well as discharge from the kitchen and the laundry facility. So there's a lot of chemicals in the in the water. The pump station was a deep bury application. The inlet to the station was about 18 feet below grade and then after all the control elevations and mechanical equipment the total bury depth was about 28 feet. The entire system the customer wanted complete redundancy in all mechanical pieces so that added some challenge because there was a lot of mechanical equipment that you, and you'll see that. And then Jensen Pump Stations was contacted in late summer of 2012 and we had to deliver the product by the first of the next year, so 2013. So very, very short design and construction timeline. So we went from design to approval in about two weeks and then went right into pr production and procurement. Because there was such a limited geographical space to construct the pump station and in light of the fact that this was a prison system which required macerating of the sewage or grinding of the sewage there was a lot of mechanical equipment that had to be fit into a very small footprint. Because of that we Jensen pump stations utilized a double, double decker dry pit system. So what we did was we stacked two 10 foot inside diameter manholes that were manufactured by Jensen Precast one on top of the other to provide a double decker system. The top deck was the macerating deck. That's the deck that you see here. In that deck, we had a completely redundant grinding system. So these two grinders here are macerating units that macerate all the sewage as it comes out of the prison. They're op run by two five horsepower motors. They are manufactured by Grunfoss and their brand is the Sewer Chewer. And the customer wanted a complete redundancy, so each week the sewage is redirected between either the northern or southern grinder by a three-way electric actuated plug valve manufactured by Valmatic. So each week, for instance, if the southern grinder was running, it would be shut down, the valve would rotate positions, and then turn on the northern grinder. This is the inlet from the prison. Another challenge we faced was the fact that the entire dry pit was considered a class one division two confined space per NFPA and that required that all the motors and electrical systems be explosion proof throughout. So there's a lot of mechanical equipment going on. We, use, we utilized a U-shaped design so again the sewage entered here, passed through the macerating units, dropped into our 60 inch inside diameter manhole and then from the suction line was pumped into the submersible pumps and then discharged here to the city sewer. The entire dry pit were, was pre-assembled in our Las Vegas precast facility, both the grinder deck and the pump deck. That's what you can see here. This is, uh, this is a Jensen precast staff flying the unit into the grinder deck and then bolting that up. The 
worker has his left hand on the three-way electric actuated plug valve and then his head is right next to the five horsepower motors that were running the macerators. Over here we see the, the pump deck. This is the lower deck. This is the intake line. Here's our HOMA media cooled jacketed pumps and then here's our discharge line. Four inch ductile iron pipe. Here you can see the excavation site for the Clark County Detention Center. The building you see in this picture is the Southern Tower. On the top left corner you see the roll-up deck and just on the other side of that roll-up door was where the Jensen precast delivery truck pulled up. There was a crane set up right here where we see all the workers standing and that crane reached across the roll-up door, picked up the precast concrete that was fully pre-assembled with the piping, pumps, valving, grinders inside of it. Picked the unit up, rotated 180 degrees, and then placed it right here. Some of the things you might notice here are, is the cliche that was present that had the delayed construction, and then the groundwater that required dewatering the entire time. This is the actual unit being picked from the main road then being placed into the construction site. A few of the lessons we learned on this project. First of all, the level detection system. The original level detection system was mechanical floats. We ran into some problems. After the sewage was macerated by the grinders, the debris was balling around the mechanical floats, forcing them to stay in the down position. So we transitioned the level detection system to a pressure transducer, which worked great until the diaphragm was failing. The diaphragm was constructed of 316 stainless steel, and the chemicals from the laundry facility were, was eating through the diaphragm. So from there, we installed a titanium pressure transducer, and that device has worked great since we've, we've installed that. Anytime you have dry pit pumps, you need to always make sure that you vent the Propeller the volute because there's typically a air pocket that forms in that. So anytime, and that's during initial startup. Once you have a fully primed system, then you don't have to do that again. When you do that, all pump manufacturers give you a vent port, and they typically put a half inch ball valve on that vent port. A nice thing you can do for your customers is reroute that vent port back to a, and in this case we rent, routed it to a bypass line, so that way when they vent the volute of the pump, that any sewage that is discharged is redirected into the bypass. Anytime you have a dry pit, you want to make sure that you install a recessed sump with a sump pump, which we had in this instance. The problem was that our sump, we drilled that to, I believe, six inches, and we needed it to be down at eight inches. We have about an inch of standing water. So just make sure that you look at your sump pump and make sure that you're discharging low enough. And then finally, it's always important to know where the location of the control panel is. In this particular instance, the control panel is located in excess of 100 feet away from the dry pit. This causes a lot of problems when you have to go replace devices such as the pressure transducers or the floats because pulling that much wire in a live system is not an easy task. So just know where your control panel is. If you do have a long run, plan out your junctions uh, properly. So that concludes our case study and our look at the Clark County Detention Center. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. And you, again, you can learn more about our products at www.jensenengineeredsystems.com.